When we were young, 2024 all album plays. Some we know, some we don't. There are 57 of them in total, and we here at the Emo Social Club are reviewing all 57 of them. Not in order, just in total. Just just with our vibes. We're going to pick which ones we want to do all at once. Yeah. In this episode, we are talking about movements feel something. Before we get into our takes on this, our reviews, our thoughts, our feelings of something, Lizzie, why don't you let us know a little bit more about movements, about this record? This is their debut album that came out on October 20th, 2017 on Fearless Records, and it was produced by the legendary Will Yip. Will Yip has worked with Panic at the Disco and the Wonder Years, just to name a few. The two singles that came off of this album were Colorblind and Deadly Dull. But I will say Daylily is probably the most yeah. popular song off of this, but that wasn't considered a single. This was listed at 191 on the Billboard 200 when it came out and number two on the Billboard Heat Seekers album chart. When you do a festival called When We Were Young and then you have an album from 2017 yeah. and like that's not really when we're young. Yeah. I mean, they only have two other albums after this so, yeah. and their most recent release came out last year. Yeah. So like end of last year. Yeah. Like not that long ago. Good for them. Well, we're going to tell you what we think about this record, but before we do, you need to make sure to subscribe. You got to do it down below. There's a little button. You can hit that. There's also a like button and there's also a comment section where you can leave a comment and let us know what you think about this. We're reviewing all 57 records. So there's a playlist. If you want to catch up with everything we've done so far and everything that's coming in the future, but you got to make sure to subscribe. If you want to be able to know when that happens, here are my thoughts on movements. Feel something. I think this is one of the bands that most people in my life have been like, you got to check out this band. You got to go and check out this band movements. Like you would love them. And I'm like, I just don't, I just don't know. Like I very traditionally, I have said, I don't really listen to anything after 2010, 2012 is pushing it with a lot of the artists that I, I do listen to, but there's not a lot of newer artists that have come out in the last five, six, seven years that I'm like, yeah, this is a band I really like. So I think this is a band for a younger crowd of like kids that are growing up now. Uh, I would almost, almost throw this in the genre people are calling Zoomer gaze now, where it's like the more like post grunge aesthetics with like slower guitars and slower songs overall, uh, more vibes based than like riffage or like vocal bass or stuff like that. So I, I think that there is definitely like an age gap here of like when people are telling me to like this, does it hit for me? Eh, sometimes. So going into this record, I was like, I don't know. I liked it. And I'm really sorry to all my friends who <laughs> told me to listen to it. I did like it. It was good. <laughs> like I apologize to everybody who's ever told me to listen to this and anybody who's a fan. I, I definitely did miss out on this and I did like it. So got to throw that out there. Got to apologize to the team. Got to apologize to the movements crowd. What this is doing, what movements is doing on this is very much that like slower post grunge uh, feel with like very, very melancholy lyrics. When we reviewed simple plan and we said, this is the joke about like, I'm so sad and everything sucks and everything is this, this is the album that I'm talking about where it's like, stop telling me you're sad and just be sad. This is that, <laughs> this is so melancholy. This is so sad. And the lyrics are really good and they really tell a story. And I was like really hooked on, on a lot of the stuff that they were going into on this. So, so certainly it, it hit me right. The vibes were good. The vibes were on <laughs> Vi immaculate vibes coming off of this record. I will say you are not going to tell me that the rap rock parts of this are not 21 pilots influenced. <laughs> You're not going to tell me that they're not the, this is so 21 pilots coded in some places and people are going to get, I don't care. You cannot tell me that this is not 21 pilot influenced. 21 pilots came out long enough in, in advance of this. And we're doing very melancholic, very hard on your sleeve type lyrics with the rap rock and the, the, the more like spoken word type parts. And that's what's in here. And I'm like, that's some Tyler Joseph right there. That's some Tyler Joseph shit yeah, injected into I'm my veins. <laughs> so, and I love 21 pilots. So that's a compliment from me. You can feel whatever you feel about it, but I'm saying that as a compliment and you're not going to tell me that it's not. Now, the only thing I will say I, I, I didn't like about this record is by about five or six songs in just was the same song repeated over and over to me. So I like the song, but it's the same song. And I, I definitely started to miss that I was actually listening to different songs. <laughs> 
because it just felt very samey to me. Um, the ones that stood out that I really liked, I liked the singles were all ones that definitely stood out and, and I liked them and I would definitely revisit a lot of those songs. Uh, day Lily for sure. Absolute hit. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to revisit those, but there's a lot in there that I might need a second or third listen to, to be able to tell the difference between that song and some of the other ones in the middle of the record there. My only critique. All right. That's fair. You can, you can say the 21 pilots thing was a critique, but I don't think it is. Was it? <laughs> I don't think it is. My top tracks off of feel something by movements. It's impossible not to say day Lily here. We, we normally try not to pick the singles for this, but uh, it's really good. It is a really catchy song. And there are a lot of memes of like pink cloud summer. And, and obviously this one is one that the, the, the scene really felt. So I, I, I will say that one is a very good song off this record. And, and I'm, I'm in agreement now I'm, I'm on the side of, all the people who told me that I would like this deadly doll was another one that I really, really liked. It was so sad. And I, I, I listening to this on YouTube, I had the music videos playing. Cause that really, that'll really help me get into a band is like seeing the music videos and, and seeing anything visually they put with it. And seeing the video for this was like, whoo, whoo, this is, this is very, very emotional, very deep. Uh, so I, I think it, it does a really good job with what it's saying with it. And, and I really liked it. Uh, the lyrics are really good and it's got that great 21 pilots outro to it. <laughs> uh, and submerge as we get deeper into the record. Uh, that was one that also stood out uh, later on uh, as we're, as it was starting to become more of the same song over and over again. That's where I like uh, started to notice, okay, this one's a little bit different. And again, I might need to listen to some of these other ones in the middle and just say, okay, these are not the same song. <laughs> Uh, to get to know them a little better, get to get to know the lyrics a little better because I do like the sound of them. But Submerge definitely was one that stood out. And again, I didn't I didn't want to pick the singles, but the first track also I think had a video to it. So uh, there were there were a few things on here that I think made it off of the album as a, a not a single maybe, but uh, certainly the ones that are the biggest songs off of this are the the top ones for sure. My least favorite track off of Feel Something by Movements. It's very hard to pick one I didn't like, but only because all of them that I like was feeling sounded the same. Like there was a lot of songs that just sort of blended together on it. So it's like, well, I can't pick one. Like this seems unfair. They're all the sort of the same sounding song to me. So I, I didn't really pick any. Uh, uh, I think that in general, there will be a band that I listen to more in the future because I feel good about the music they make. And maybe there's just some hits and there's some that are not like big singles or big pop, more poppy, more uh, mainstream, I guess you could say that just didn't catch me differently than the other stuff. Normally when I'm looking for like the least thing, the least favorites, I'm like, oh, the lyrics here were like, well, what were you doing on that? <laughs> there weren't any of those like, I think the lyrics are are one of the best parts of this band for sure. There were no like performances I didn't like. There was nothing really that I felt really negatively about. So I'm not picking a least favorite track. Just I'm looking forward to listening to maybe more of M Movement's music so that I know that there are more songs to listen to. Because definitely a bit of this, I'm like, I'm not, I may not want to check this out again. My personal take on Movement's Feel Something is that I've always heard of this band and then I always forget about them very quickly. Yep. And nobody ever has said, listen to these songs. They're like, have you heard of movements? And I say, I've heard of them, but I've never listened to them. And then we move on with the conversation. Yes. <laughs> so I never had that much of any inkling or want or need or motivation to, to ever remember they exist. I know that on like Stan Twitter and just like online in general, they do have a very big like fandom where it was so annoying that I said, I don't want to listen to any band that has these types of fans <laughs> because if I go to the show, I'm going to have a terrible time. Yep. I'm anticipating that has changed now. I hope so. But this came out 2017. I graduated college. I graduated undergrad. So I just, this just never fell on my radar. I was aware of the band, but I never listened to it um, until now. <laughs> So my overall thoughts on Feel Something, off the first track, it gave me this, oh, okay, this is generic OG emo. But then it comes in with this La Dispute sounding yep. <laughs> spoken word. I'm like, I'm intrigued. Yeah. So when you say 21 Pilots, I was like, oh, okay, more La Dispute. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah. I, I understood what you meant when you said it. I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. 
So no, that's I'm very clear. 21 Pilots, uh-huh. not a lot of okay. dispute. Okay. I'm very clear on my <laughs> point. <laughs> really, though, I was really surprised by this because I did really like it, too. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it. Something that was unique in this is that when we talk about cohesive albums, this really is one. And you've mentioned the sound sounds too similar. I would argue that there's enough differences between different songs that they are all uniquely structured differently. You can have one devastating song go into another tragic song and understand (laughs) the difference. No, this one's about something really depressing, but this other one's about something very depressing. (laughs) So I understand why people really enjoy this album. And I wish somebody was literally like shoved it in my face and you need to listen to this and actually tell me more about it. Because also I look at an album cover and I'm like, I don't know, this doesn't really speak anything to me. It's just there. Wasn't anything special that really stood out to me. So I... I'm glad that they're a newer band so I can kind of jump on the train a little bit more here Mm -hmm. than other bands that, you know, they've been around since I was a literal child and I'm like, oh, wow, you exist and I'm in my (laughs) 20s now. I'm really late to the game. Yeah. (laughs) My top three for Feel Something by Movements are the third degree. It's really high energy. It balances super, super well with this modern pop punk vibe. And it has a really good hook for the listener to kind of pull you in a little bit more. It's emphatic, but it's also catchy in that way that you can just kind of like listen to it. You feel something (laughs) and you sit in the corner, you feel something and you can cry, but you can be like, I'm a little bit happy. They knew what they were doing. They called us feel something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you you have to understand what that vibe is like. You know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. S-E-O-S album title. Also, similarly to you, Deadly Doll was also one I really liked. This is where I was like, this is a lot of dispute coded. Mm-hmm. This, that was like my biggest thing about it. I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And the other one I really liked was Deep Red because I love a heavy, dirty bass riff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh. <laughs> It's slower, which I don't usually like slower songs, but it kept the momentum going. I never felt sleepy, which I usually do when I listen to most slow songs or ballads. I'm like, I'm sleepy. This didn't make me feel sleepy. This kept me engaged. So that's what I really liked about it. So that's also just like a bonus points for movements for being able to do that and not make me personally feel EP about it. The ones I didn't like from Feel Something by Movements, it was kind of hard to pick because there wasn't one that I hated or really disliked. But the one that was just kind of like meh compared to the rest was Full Circle. The, the songwriting was very basic for me compared to literally just like everything else. When they kick in with the spoken word, it saves it. But compared to the rest of the tracks, it's just it just falls a little bit flat. Otherwise, I really liked the majority of this album. I really had no issues. <laughs> we are going to make a lot of people who try to get us into this band very, very happy. I guess so. I don't I don't know too many people who listen to movements now. I mean, they're they've only grown from this record, and this record itself is still like, I don't know, this this gets a lot of attention for the for the emo kids now. These kids are out here like my favorite emo bands are movements. And I'm like, what is that about? What is that for? Who is this? Have you tried movementing into fucking real emo, like my chemical romance? So that's what we thought about movements feel something, but there are other people who felt something about movements. We have some Amazon reviews. We have some critic reviews. We're going to read a couple of those. I could only find one Amazon review. On really? This. Yeah. Holy shit. So only only one that came off as like, here is like how I feel about the music. And this kind of sums up every Amazon review. I love movements. Five stars by Jaden. I love this band more than words can explain. Their music has helped me through so much in my life. Their first full album is everything I hoped it would be and more. I think that's just how everybody feels about this record. In general, obviously, I think the lyrical content, the, the emotion behind it, I think is is one of those things that a lot of people gravitate to and they like to have in their life to help them process. And I think that Movements does a very good job of that. And good job, Movements, I guess. Mostly positive on Amazon. Could not find anything interesting to read here on a camera. That's very <laughs> fair. I found... A little bit. Also, not a lot of critic reviews out here for movements. The one that I wanted to find that had a four out of five was from Alt Press, but it wasn't archived. But thanks for the four out of five. Thanks, Alt Press. 
Uh, this one is from New Noise, reviewed by Nicholas Sr. in 2018. The Feels. <laughs> I know in 2018, it's an outdated meme, but I'm over 30. And my back is starting to hurt, so trends don't hold the same weight anymore. What still grabs me and what feels fairly timeless is the type of aggressive and pensive post-hardcore that can bring even the most burly of us to the brink of tears. All these feels can't hide the fact that movements are also masterful composers and musicians. Much of Feel Something does carry the strong weight of nostalgia in its well-balanced melodic post-hardcore, and Miranda's voice is exceptionally familiar, though I can't place a similarity. Which 21 is, Pilots. This impressive and expressive debut grabs an immediate hold of me and is every bit as impactful and enjoyable now. However, you get the sense that this is merely a warm-up to a real stunner of a sophomore effort. Time will tell, but the future, no matter how real the stories are, is quite bright for this loud and sad group. I've not listened to any other movements albums, but I I would I, say it tracks. I will after this. Be honest. I'm going to check it out. No. I'm going to do it. He's going to fucking do it. Well, we've heard from the critics. We've heard from the experts. We've heard from us. Now we have to answer one final question. Do we recommend seeing Feel Something by Movements at When We Were Young Fest 2024? They have already announced that they're doing a tour this year. And I think now I kind of want to try to go to that tour. Like I want to listen to their other music that's come out and go to that tour. If I don't make it to that or whatever, I would definitely try to check this out at When We Were Young because I... I while I don't think that there are some fully strong moments in the middle or it's like not that interesting in there, like I would like to go and see the the hype about movements now that I am into it and now that I've liked this and and sort of see the audience around it and have that that live uh, perspective to also get me just to like kind of keep up with it um, because I, I'm, I'm interested in this band now overall. So um, at some point in 2024, I would like to see movements. If it's not at When We Were Young Fest, hopefully it's at another show. Yeah, I think for myself, if I were to see movements at the festival, it's a damn maybe. I think it it's really a de- damn maybe. It's a damn maybe. <laughs> it really depends again who will be playing during that time. But I want to see their live showmanship because I have a feeling that it's just going to amplify what we've heard already. But again, there is a tour, so if it doesn't work out there. Ideally, we could catch them somewhere in Chicago on their other tour. Yep. Or if they're playing another festival near us, we can just catch them there. Yep. But I would be remiss if I miss them again. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Maybe we'll see them at When We Were Young Fest. Uh, but what do you think? Are you going to see them at When We Were Young Fest? Do you agree with us? Do you not agree with us? Are you feeling something about how we've responded to this? Let us know in the comments down below. You can uh, argue with us or you can agree with us. And we have, of course, a playlist of all the album reviews of all the albums we're doing for When We Were Young. So make sure to leave a comment on any of those that you may have uh, feelings about. And uh, movements, When We Were Young, 2024, we will see you there.